So let's have a look at how we go about putting text on a curve in our design space for tumblers. Now you can see that I've got a, a, um, a, a sloped tumbler or a tumbler with a, uh, a slant on it, an upside down cone if you like, um, already on the screen. Now I've loaded that, that's just one I've made. Um, it's a 17 ounce tumbler and I've got the image behind it. It's actually just a PNG file. That's all we need for this exercise. So you've probably got lots of um, pre-made templates and things that you're using. So all you need is one with an existing curve the same as your, um, let's say, existing mug. You might have a set of mugs there that you want to put some text on rather than images. So the first thing is to load that image in. And that's we've, we've got it there. You can see over there the background and I've got it locked. Let's make a duplicate of that so that we don't get confused by it. Now that you've got a duplicate you can actually turn that one off and you unclick that and that one's turned off. Now we've got a blank background there and you can see that the path or the vector is a black outline. Now it hasn't got a width or anything because we're not going to use that. That's, that's the foreground. Now the first thing we have to do is go over to the left hand side and you can see I've got the pen tool there. Click on the pen tool. Now what color have we got in the stroke? We've got up the top is the stroke and the width is none. So we've got a set of width. Let's make the width... Hmm, Oh no, that's too much. Four, three. Probably 0 0.6. Mm, that might be a bit small because we need to be able to see it. Let's make that 1.0. That's not too bad. And if it's too small, we can always adjust it. Now we've got our. Oops. Edit undo begin curve. We want to begin the curve here. So we put a dot there. Now you can't draw a curved line like that. Well you could but it's a bit of a mess around. It's easier just to go to the other side. Find the corner and put a dot there. You can see we've got the line across there now. Now we've got add stroke and we've got that. We, what we want to do now is go to the node tool. That's that one there. We use the pen to draw a line. Now we've got the node tool to go to about the middle of the line. Is it in the center of the image? Well, it's hard to say. Never mind. What we've got to do is, you can see that's moved up there slightly. So I've actually bumped something. Now I drag that down to there and that's there. We're about the center there. It's not the center of the image because the image is not centered. Never mind. Let's not get confused. I'm wasting time there. And you just click and hold that and drag it up so the curve is exactly where you want it. Use the handles. Now how do I know the curve is there? Let's remove the picture. And there's your curve. Now the interesting thing is we want to put writing on this. So we don't want the curve there. We might want the curve about there, mightn't we? So let's take the move tool and you can see that that encompasses the curve. And let's just move it down to there around the top of the mug. Is that about centered? I don't know. We've, we've got that center line there. That's actually becoming a bit of a nuisance. View, Guides Manager. Let's get rid of that. Close. What I want to do is find that exact center line. 
Now for some reason it's not showing up the center there. There's that. Well, let's go straight down. That'll do it. It's just about there. Now this is the interesting thing. Let's get rid of the picture from behind it so we can see what we're doing. We're going to start the text about there. However, what we want to do is make the stroke width one or there's no see there's no color in the stroke now it's not black it's still one wide though so we can go down here and click on that the text artistic text now we go here we've got a little curly line under it you see that when it goes in there puts a curly line under it just click on that and it puts starts the text there now it's aerial let's make it a decent what what fonts have we got on here we've got mm, ink free java there's not much there there we go see go print and let's give it a decent size so we can see it there we go 36 and it's there happy birthday and you think well okay well that's good that's kind of on the curve but you get hold of the little green arrow there and you can line up happy birthday about about the middle now you might think well that's all very well so let's make a copy of that edit copy oh okay duplicate selection there it is duplicated There's the next line. Happy birthday. Go back to text. And there's your happy birthday text. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, mummy and daddy. That'll do. Back up to there. Maybe if I put the snapping manager on. Window. Um, 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 um. Snapping manager. Enable snapping. There we go. Close. Will that give us our center, center line? Why is it not sure? Ah, oh, there it is. Perfect. level with the center happy birthday mummy and daddy what I want to do is move it slightly happy birthday mummy and daddy now that's got a curve in it that will exactly follow the curve of the 17 ounce latte mug there it is, 17 ounce latte mug template with image modified. And there's the curve there. And you know it's the curve because that's turned on. But there it is behind there. There it goes. So you could put the image on the back, set it to 50%. Sorry about that, that took me a long time. Never mind, that's all there is to it. Go back to layers. 
you can actually turn that off altogether and that will wrap nicely on your mug you could put you could draw boundaries around there if you like but we don't want to do that do we that's all there is to it folks thanks for watching <laughs>